Hey everyone, it's Zelda Theory time here in Retro Geek Gaming. Yeah, I know, another crazy theory coming out of nowhere. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. I don't even want to remotely say that this is anywhere close to being true, but it is just an idea that I had. Because we've sort of seen from the final trailer of Tears of the Kingdom, right? We've seen a... Um, an entity that has long blood red hair, fiery red hair, and also has scales. If you look really closely, you see that there's scales on the arm. If you look at pictures of Demise, this matches up. So it's very possible this is Demise returning. So either we have two villains, possibly three villains, because after all, somebody did take Zelda, right? possibly three villains or this is like a Twilight Princess thing where Zant was thought to be the villain but it was really under the control of Ganondorf so maybe Ganondorf comes back as the villain uh, only to really sort of be under the control of Demise the whole time sort of realizing that you know you were really being my puppet now here's where the theory comes in and this will probably just be a short video. But what if the way to... Because, again, people... It's not just me. There's other people that have been mentioning that this is the end of the curse. Right? This is the end of the curse. Um, possibly ending the whole cycle thing. Maybe there's a new curse that gets set up that continues the games going forward um, in a timely fashion. Um, there's a lot of people that are concerned of, hey, if this is the last game... In the series, where they're going to take it? Well, there's many other timelines. After all, how did the games get unified to begin with, right? Because we, um, up until the timeline, didn't even know about the third timeline. Um, we kind of had an idea about the split from Ocarina of Time, but we didn't know where games fell into place. So what if there's other games, right, that come, like, still in the middle somewhere, like, you know at the end of the adult timeline, for an example, and um, sort of um, continue to explain how the timelines got unified again, this, that, and the other. So there's many other things that can be done. Let's not get that mistaken. So where does my theory come in? Well, what if the way to break the curse is to unify all three pieces of the Triforce. Meaning that for the first time, Ganondorf is either playable or teams up with Zelda and Link to stop Demise. Sort of an anti-hero thing. Sort of stepping up to be a hero, anti-hero kind of thing. Where he's stepping up to take out a greater evil for the sake of his own existence or because he just doesn't feel like he's, you know, you're not going to control me kind of thing. How interesting would that be? How much would that sort of explain the importance of the Triforce? Well, I don't know. Now, it's possible Ganondorf could turn into Demise. It's possible that the whole time you think he's the villain and you fight him and maybe halfway through something happens and the curse comes through. He does some kind of a ritual, um, gets his hands on Zelda, let's say. And does a ritual that he thinks is going to give him more power. And it does. But he doesn't realize that that power is actually Demise. And so he actually t turns into uh, Demise. Or just, you know, sort of gets pushed inside, I guess. And Demise takes over his body. That's a possibility. Because then the second half of the game... Again, because there's still the theory that there's time travel. 
could be the idea of then you have to go back to the past, reforge the Master Sword, and stop Demise from ever existing, thus completing the Ouroboros loop that I talked about, where, hey, the thing that stepped forth and sealed Demise to begin with, that was talked about in Skyward Sword, really was Zelda, who, in, who encompassed, I'm sorry, encompassed her Hylia goddess powers, took on the name Hylia, went back to the past with Link, and stopped him and sealed him. And thus created the loop. That's an awesome theory. But I also like the theory. That it's possible. That Ganondorf. Somehow. Either directly. Because all three of them are together. Attacking Demise. Or inadvertently. Because maybe again he's inside of Demise. And he's like I don't like this at all. I no longer want to be burdened. To this curse. I am my own person. I will do what I can from inside Demise to stop him, to hold him back while you defeat him. So, advertently or inadvertently helps stop the curse that created him. Interesting, I think. So what do you think about this theory? Or just the um, ideas that have been thrown out in this video? Rate them from scale 1 to 10 if you like. doesn't really matter. I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about this theory or any other video. And I just wanted to do a real quick video while I had it in my head. Um, but I got to get back to work now. So I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. A great rest of your week. And hopefully I'll have a new um, video idea. Sort of a new series called Double Edged Sword. That I think is going to be interesting. Um... To, t to talk about once I sort of get the idea really set in stone about what I want to do with it. But hopefully you'll join me for that. Hopefully you like this video. You can feel free to like and comment if you want. Also feel free to subscribe if you want. No pressure from me. I just try, I'm just a guy on the internet that likes to do random YouTube videos about once a week. Th about something that's on my mind. Something that sort of comes to my head and like, hey... That would be interesting to talk about. So if that's your kind of thing, you're welcome to join me on this journey. Love to have you. Otherwise, like I said, you got to get back to work. So have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you next time.